Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And just stay watching the breath. Know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. When it comes in, how far does it come in? When it goes out, how far does it go out? Notice when it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can change. Make it deeper or shallower, heavier or lighter, faster or slower. All kinds of things you can do with the breath. So explore it for right now. See what kind of breathing energy the body needs. If it's feeling tired, you want to breathe in a way that gives it more energy. If you're feeling tense, try to breathe in a way that's more relaxed. Think of the breath as energy that flows through the whole body. So when you breathe in, every cell in the body gets to participate in the breathing. That way the whole body feels better, and the mind's got a better place to stay. You have your own spot. You have your own foundation. It's when you have your own foundation, okay, that's when you're strong. You don't have to be pushed around by other things, other people, other ideas. Because people are going to come at you with all kinds of ideas, all kinds of values about what's good or what's bad, what's right and what's wrong. And you've got to look for yourself. But to look for yourself, you, the mind has to be still, so you can really see things for what they are, so you're not overcome by your own greed or your own aversion or your own delusion. This is how you, this is how you survive in this world. Surviving here means that you maintain your virtue, you maintain your integrity. You don't let it get pushed around by good fortune, bad fortune. Status, loss of status, praise or criticism. Those are the winds of the world, and they're just that. They're winds. They blow for a while, but then they stop. You don't want to get yourself get blown over by them. So you've got to make sure the mind has a good, solid foundation. So you can consider for yourself okay, what really is right, what really is wrong in your own actions. What is skillful, what's not skillful. When you speak, what's, what are the results of what you say? You have to watch. You can just, can't just let every, anything that pops into your head go out your mouth. You've got to realize that your words have an effect on other people. So what kind of effect are you having? Are you having a good effect or a bad one? Your words are going to have an effect on you, too. So what kind of effect are they having on you? The same with your actions, the same with your thoughts. You've really got to watch yourself so you don't end up causing trouble for yourself, trouble for other people. This is why we meditate, because it gives the mind a good, comfortable, and solid place to stay so that you can watch yourself and not get worn out watching. And as you begin to trust yourself more and more, okay, when people say X is right, is it really right? If they say Y is right, is it really right? Well, you watch and see what the results are. And remember that you want to look for long-term welfare and happiness. That's what the Buddha said is the beginning of wisdom. You go to somebody who knows and say, what, when I do it, will be for my long-term well-being? What, when I do it, will be for my long-term harm? You want to look for the long-term, not just for the immediate fix. Because otherwise you get a little bit of pleasure now, but then it turns into something bad down the, ro down the road. What are you going to do then? You can't come back and undo what you've done. So you want to make sure you get it right the first time. And even if you don't get it right, at least you learn from your mistake so you don't repeat the same mistake over and over again. These are the basic principles that the Buddha taught his son. And, and that they're good not just for children, but also for teenagers, for adults, everybody. We've got to be responsible for our actions. And the best way to do that is to look carefully at what the results are. Learn from our mistakes so that we can get more and more skillful in leading a life that really does lead to long-term happiness, long-term well-being. That's what we're here for. That's why we have to train the mind. Happiness doesn't come from having nice things. Happiness comes from having a trained mind. So you, have, you know what to do with nice things, you know what to do with bad things. You, you can handle anything that comes your way. It's like a good cook. They can take any kind of food and they may get good dishes out of it. If you need really good food to make good dishes, okay, then there's, that shows there's a limit in your skill as a cook. But if you can take just anything and turn it into something really good to eat, okay, that's a sign of somebody who's really skilled. And it's the same with your life. Bad things are going to come your way, but if you learn how to handle them skillfully, they turn into good things. And the skill comes from here, from training your mind. So stay right here with your breath. See how long you can do it, how comfortable you can make the breath. And you find that you develop a really good, solid foundation inside, something you can trust inside. 